Hello and welcome to another episode of Making a Difference. I'm your host, Cindy Ashton from Daily Ad Brief, coming to you from New York City and going down to Miami, Florida. We have a phenomenal woman who has overcome so much and created such enormous impact in the world. Her name is Victoria Pelletier, and she is from Accenture, and she's also a remarkable public speaker. Hello, Victoria, and welcome to the show. Hey, Cindy. It's great to be here. I am so excited that you are here. Tell us a little bit about the difference that you are making in the world and why this is so important to you. So I'm extremely passionate about a number of things. Having been an executive and a business leader for the last 20 plus years, what makes a real difference in the lives of the teams I work with and the customers we serve is around having great leadership, and culture, and one of the things closest to my heart, diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplaces we're in and the communities we live. And why is diversity and inclusion so unbelievably important to you? Because when I watch you on LinkedIn, you are so fierce about these causes and it's, and it just, and I can feel and see the impact that you're making. So what's the story behind that? So it's very personal to me because in many ways, I was part of the minority within the workplace. When I became an executive in my early 20s, I was the youngest by a couple of decades. I was the only woman sitting around the boardroom table. I was also the only member from the LGBT community that sat there as well. And as I started to lead large teams, I realized that many of them came from all different parts of the world, quite frankly, and their lived experiences, their work experiences, and their whole selves that showed up to work every day made it a much better environment, created much more significantly engaged and exciting place for all of us to work. And I live by the 80-20 rule in terms of, you know, wanting to be excited and get up and show up to work every day, at least 80% of the time, 20% is going to be stuff we just have to get done. We might not always enjoy. So that's, you know, reason one. But number two is, you know, for me, I also overcame significant adversity, you know, in my early years, and it was channeling again, the lived experience and what I could bring that was very different from others to the table. And it wasn't until I felt that I could show up my authentic self every day that I realized I really need to share that message with others and also create an environment for others to feel that they could show up. Not just that they were accepted for whatever socioeconomic, religious, you know, racial differences um, that they might bring, but really creating a place in which they felt included and a sense of belonging. Victoria, this is why I adore you, because you really are about every human matters, every voice matters, we all belong, and I love that message. Who is one of or two of your biggest inspirations? Hmm, that's hard, Cindy. I, uh, there's many people I look at. <laughs> there are many people I look up and aspire to, and I'm often asked, you know, who is mentor. And, and the challenge for me is that, in fact, I've, I've learned in a very opposite way, the type of leader that I am and how I show up every day is actually a result of many people that I've learned who I want to be nothing like, who I aspire to not be like, just because yeah. of their leadership <laughs> values and integrity. So instead, I have to sort of sit on the sidelines and look more aspirationally, you know, into the world and community. And so there's people like, the Obamas, quite frankly, although I am a proud Canadian, even, you know, living in Canada at the time, you know, Barack was first um, uh, uh, voted into uh, uh, presidency. I look at he and Michelle and everything that they've done and how they continue to give back to the community. You talked about the humanity and every person matters. So that's one thing. The late Ruth Bader Ginsburg would be another. Mm. It was a woman who who showed up early in her career as one of the few or only so many times, right? And she said, you know, when is it going to be enough? And she said, when there are nine, meaning she's just not being the only woman on the Supreme Court. So those are two, I just, I, three people I'll say. So, you know, between Barack and Michelle Obama and all, everything that they've done for the, the, the world, the, not just the U.S., but the world and humanity, and then RBG uh, and everything that she brought and paved the way for so many going forward. What I'm hearing is that you love radical game changers who are breaking the rules. 
<laughs> which is, I'm Very so true. with you. My, my hero growing up was Madonna, who challenged norms of, you know, for, for, for women in a lot of ways. Um, I love that, Victoria. It has been such a joy to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for being a guest. Thanks for having me. And thank you to all of you who watched a yet another episode of Making a Difference. If you'd like to connect with Victoria, please go to dailyadbrief.com and we will see you on another episode very soon.